3.07.5 at 1,200 metres if she can get that Nike far. Women's 4.09.1500 metre runner, so there's a question mark over that. But Barton Mid there to the left is the pacemaker. Faith Kip Yegon will four times a world champion, three times at 1,500 metres. Of course, she took the double in Budapest at 1,500 and 5,000 metres two or three weeks back. Not lost a championship 1,500 metres since Doha, since Doha 2019 when she lost to Sifan Hassan. Laura Muir, sixth in Budapest. She's had a bit of an up and down season. Coaching changes at the beginning of the year. A very solid season nonetheless from uh, Laura Muir, who's been going well. She won in Brussels last week. Jessica Hull, seventh in Budapest. Mesele of Ethiopia, semi-finalist in the Budapest 800 metres. Lyndon Hall is there, she too, a semi-finalist in Budapest. Halom, Berke Halom, ninth in Budapest. Hailu, Frawani Hailu, who's seventh in the Budapest 5,000. She's strong, she may lead with that 5,000 streak. Kira McGeeran of Ireland in fabulous form. Setting a national record just uh, last week. It was in uh, Brussels, 3.55. He's had a really consistent summer. Hiro Meshesha is in good form as semi finalist in Budapest. And well, Teji, well, she was the silver medalist in Budapest. Just 21 years old, best of 3.55 earlier on this summer. Corey McGee of the USA made that final in Budapest. The American was 10th there. Melissa Courtney Bryant is 12th in Budapest. The Commonwealth bronze medalist from way back in 2018. She's had more than her fair share of injuries in this uh, career. And Sinclair Johnson of the USA, another Budapest semi-finalist. The women's 1500. So if they do go out at anything like 62.5 second tempo, then we are into something special. Remember, Faith Kip Yegon going for her sixth win at the Prefontaine Clash. She won here in 2016, 2017, 2019, 21, 22, and this will be her third consecutive year of victory in pre if she were to win here as they follow the pacemaker, Laurie Barton. And it is Faith Kip Yegon who slots it right onto her shoulder there. The others allowing her to control things at the moment, although it's slowing, Steve, as you can see, with Laura Muir moving down the outside. She's trying to maintain a, a steady tempo after about 200 metres. It really did slow there. And the pack punching behind uh, Laurie Button, who goes through here in, what, about 46 and a half, 47 seconds. So she's uh, more or less on schedule. Yeah, lights are helping a lot, but uh, you know, Laura Muir is smart. It takes 300 metres to find your position. You don't need to push and shove in the first 100, 200. Uh, well stretched out though as you said that pace is going to be quick I just don't know whether Laurie Barton is going to be able to keep this going for as long as Faith Kipiegon would perhaps like so Kipiegon may well be out in front and look at that already she's just checked back a little bit is running with that green light the pace that the light is meant to be set is about 352 353 but I'm really interested in this as a race here can any of them give Kipiegon something to think about can they push her at all well, she holds the world record at 1500, holds the world record at mile. Remember that 407 earlier on this summer. She holds the world record at 5000. She's got enormous strength and speed as Faith Kip Yegon. She has pretty much produced an aura of being unbeatable at women's 1500 meters as uh, Laurie Barton accelerates through, there through to 700 meters, just pulling herself a little bit clear of Kip Yegon, who in turn is pulling clear of Well Teji and Laura Muir in third place, moving around the outside there aggressively. I think that was Hailu, as she chases Kip Yogan, recognises that the uh, world record holder is getting away. 800 metres, 205.26, that's another 62, 64, 62, almost identical. I'm a massive fan of Birka Halon, the young 17-year-old Ethiopian who's just slotted in there. She's going to be one for the future. She runs very bravely and is an incredible talent not yet to challenge Kip Yeager but it was interesting wasn't it that she decided come on we're letting her get away too late now though she's away and continues to move away from the pack 500 metres to run then for Fred Kip Yeager how they love their middle distance running at Hayward Field and that gap at 15 metres 17 metres it's growing all the time the pack working hard to go with her but she's away and she should be on paper she's seconds quicker than this field when you look at their personal bets go through the map bell there in something around 252 this is going to be super fast from faith kick yegon she's still going strong the olympic champion the world champion indeed four times world champion through 1200 meters and look at that third lap 60.81 306 she's ahead of schedule at 1200 
Wolteji and Halom in second and third. Great athletes like Laura Muir struggling to get even close to Kip Yegon. 200 meters to run and still she drives hard with the arms. She's such a beautiful, fluid looking athlete. The gap has grown to 25, maybe 30 meters around the crown of the bend. She is a class apart as she comes into the straight and rightly the crowd rises to its feet to greet this majestic champion through the last 50 meters. Watch the clock, it's not going to be far shy of her own world record. Fantastic running from Pedro Yegum, crosses the line there, 350.71. Well, I can tell you that only Gonzebe de Baba and a couple of Chinese athletes from the uh, 90s have run as quick as that. A meeting record, of course, a supreme Exhibition run effectively from Faith Kvyeg on the dominance against a high caliber field was extraordinary. And Steve, you feel as though with a pacemaker today, take her a little bit further into the race, she might have broken and uh, threatened her own world record. 349.11, her world record. About a second and a half quicker than that. Well, Teji and Muir, fabulous running for them for the minor places. But Faith Kvyeg, you just run out of superlatives. Well, you're right, you, you know, it's difficult to really put into context how she is running and uh, given how, well, go back to Florence, when was it, early June, has just kept this up all the way through the season. Great performances behind, as you said, well, Teji, the silver medalist, Laura Muir, Laura Muir running a second fastest ever 1,500 metres, not far off the British record. Lyndon Hall smashing again, been chasing records, exchanging them with Jess Hall, so it's not just what Kip Yegon is doing for herself. She's pulling these other women to super fast times. Has been doing it all season long. They're a great bunch. They all get on pretty well. They all know each other well. They're all very happy for Faith Kip Yegon. I think there, she just had a little bit of a, a sniff at the bell. She suddenly thought, wow, I'm not that far away. You're right. Wasn't it a 60s? That